দুই তিন What about inventing a set of number sounds which everybody could use? Now, there are five vowels. A, E, I, O, and U. We could use these with some other letters and say, let lam mean one, lem two, lim three, lom four, and lum five. Lam, lem, lim, lom, lum. For six, we could have llama. Seven, lima. Eight, lima. Nine, loma. What about ten? We could just add T for the tens. So, one ten will become lamti. That gives us lamti, lamti lam, lamti lem, lamti lim, lamti lom, lamti lum, lamti lama, lamti lima, lamti lima, lamti loma, lemti. We could keep on combining a few sounds like these lomati lum, lomati lama, lomati lima. Lomati Lima, Lomati Loma. Ah, and now we need a new sound for a hundred. How good are you at estimating the numbers of things? How many bees are there? We think about a hundred. How many flamingos are there? We think about 150. How many people are there? We think about 250. Think about arranging things so they can be counted more easily. Think about counting all the ways that the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 could be arranged. I reckon this time 504. Okay. Think about counting the grains of rice in a matchbox. It could be easier to count just the grains that fit in a square, and then the number of squares. Try counting the grains of sand in a thimble in a similar way. Choose a spider. There will be six altogether. That's the lot. Count the number of times your spider appears on the screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty